Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to focus on the output of my inverter. Um, the new inverter actually have both an input output port that is hybrid and then you have the output port that only delivers power out. And that one also delivers power out whenever you have a power failure or whatever. So that's what we are going to do today. Uh, Here is some stuff. This is the box I have. It's a 12 unit box. I will be using a 3 pole security switch, a ground fault detector, a 3 phase switch. Uh, this one will be the one I most likely will be handing into the house. A single 16 amp phase, single 10, single 10. And I will have this to connect it in to each other. This is a 10 square millimeter piece. Incoming cable will be this cable here, it's a 6 square millimeter cable and it will be easily to handle um, 25 amp of load that short distance and it will be connected to this here. This is the unit connected together. As you can see, the thick wire here goes into the inverter and that's the load output. Uh, I have the main switch here, um, the ground breaker here itself, ground protection unit, and then we have a three phase unit here or a three phase circuit. It's not connected to anything at the moment. Um, three single phase units here by one of them goes back and actually is attached to the other inverter so it actually feeds the PIP 4048 it's a 16 amp uh, breaker itself 
um, and one is tied to this outlet down here that one over there and connected with the cover this is how it looks like it's dust protected and I've also marked out everything so I know where everything goes is AC load out and you have the, one of the outlets here and it's marked as well so I'm pretty happy with that and it's a simple output panel and it works really really great so hope you liked it and please subscribe like and we'll see you next time thank you and bye